Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Because the thing about our people, we like to follow everything except what belongs to us. This Bible belongs to us. The only true God of, of heaven and earth belongs to us. Our God ain't no rock in Mecca. Our God ain't no Islam, Muslim, none of that. It ain't no fat China man with a big stomach. Those gods are idols. The Kabul stone is an idol. We ain't no Arabs. We shouldn't be following no Islam, no Quran, no none of that because it ain't of our people. But our people kill each other about that thing and it don't belong to neither one of us. My brother, what's your name? Who? Virgil. So have you ever heard about the Israelites, bro? You heard about us, what you think about it? The way that the world is, God didn't ordain it to be like this. You 100% right. Give me Job chapter nine, verse 24. The way that the world is right now, this ain't of God, bro. This ain't of God. And the only way that it's going to change is if God kill a whole bunch of people. And that's all that's going to happen. The Bible tells you just like the time of Noah, he's going to send his children back out there to go get his people. And majority of us going to rebuke it. Like my sister. My sister, you got two minutes to spare for your brothers? That's going to be the response we hear every time. I ain't got time for it until God come and kill something. Then as soon as God kills something, now we come and God help me. Now as soon as them bills start hitting, God help me please, help me please God, because we don't need God until we need God. What does that show? Our people don't want God. And that's exactly why the community is the way it is now. We don't need God until we going through something. Read. Job chapter 9 verse 24. So my brother, don't tell me, Virgil, my brother Virgil tell me that the way that the world is, this cannot be of God. And he 100% right. So if it ain't God, who is it of? Read. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What did the Bible say? My brother, right here with the glasses. Come over here. White t-shirt. Come over here and build with me. What did, what, Virgil, you hit it right on the head. What did God say? The earth. Hey, my brother, what's your name? Come here. I can't hear you. What's your name? Who? Sean. Sean. So my brother Virgil has said he examined and looked at the world. He said the way the world is, this cannot be of God. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. You agree, right? And so if this world ain't of God, who is this world of? Watch what the Bible say. The earth. So the world is given. Is what? Is given. So the way that you see the world is, is moving according to who? Into the head of the wicked. It's moving according to the wicked. My sister, we got black men out here to fix the community up. You got a couple minutes to spread the us out? My sister, can you come over here real quick? I just want to ask you a couple questions. So this is my brother Virgil. My brother Virgil learning right now that he's God's chosen people in Israelite. My sister, is your father a so-called black man? Okay, where's the sign? Over here, right? So if you look on this sign right here, where would you see the race of your father? Right over here, sis. Help the sister guide her. Right over there. Where would you see the race of your father at? American black, West Indian black, Haitian. Because you say American black? What'd you say, sis? You black? Okay. American. American black? Okay, America was named after a white man named Amerigo Vespucci. Africa was named after a white man named Leo Scipios Africanus. Us as a people have color. So how can we be the descendants of two white men? It don't make sense, right? Give me Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. So what we are here to show you, you read the Bible at all? What's your name, sis? Cherie? Huh? Sharika? Okay, my sister. This is my brother Virgil. I'm Joe. So what we out here to show you is that you're not African American, black, color, Negro, none of that. When you read the Bible, the so-called black race, we are the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Once upon a time, we were called the Israelites. That's who you are today, but now we call by another name. Watch what the Bible prophesied. Read. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. So my sister Shanika, you read the Bible at all? A little bit? Every day. Stay away from the Quran. The Bible is your book. Virgil, don't go nowhere. So God says, you say what? 
You said Tuesday. Judas died and Jesus smoked weed. Judas died, Jesus smoked weed. Man, all praise. Read. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. So watch the confusion that the Bible talks about. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. The Bible says the ox knoweth his owner, meaning what? A stubborn, bullheaded animal know who his owner is. Read. And the ass his master's crib. An ass is a donkey. So God is saying a stubborn ox knows who his owner is, and the donkey knows where it belongs to. But who? But Israel. When the Bible says Israel, it's talking about you so-called Mexicans, you so-called Hispanics, you so-called Latinos, you so-called African Americans. You are the Israelites that the Bible talks about. Yes, what does the Bible say about you Israelites? Read on. But Israel does not know. The Bible says you don't know. That's why you walk around calling yourself Mexican, Hispanic, and Latino all at the same time. You are one race of people and go by three different identities. Like you, if I was to ask you your nationality, what would you tell me, Virgil? What's your race, bro? Black American. You're a black American, right? So my, my pants are black. Your skin is brown. America was named after a white man. Hey, my brother in the white shirt, you got two minutes to spare for your brothers? Not even, not a 120 seconds. What about 60 seconds? Okay, watch this, Virgil, read. But Israel doeth not know. God says you Israelites don't know your homeland and you don't know who you belong to. Like the sister got upset when I said something about Allah. Allah ain't no God. Allah ain't real. Allah is a rock and it's not of our people. We ain't no Arabs. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. That's who you be. You are the only people that actually have a God. And that's why God judges us the way that he do. Read it again. The ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, but the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read, do or not know. My sister, these are your kids right here. You mind if I ask your son a question real quick? Little bro, what's your name? What's your name, bro? Check this out. What'd he say? He said, Quandel. Samaj. Samaj. So check this out, Samaj. Which one of these is Jesus? This one is Jesus. And this is why this world needs this Bible. This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. The Bible says that Jesus looked like you. That's right. When you read the Bible, Samaj, when the Bible actually talks about Jesus, it said that he has skin and hair like you. You see that hair on that? That's your little brother, sister? Which one? His little brother. You see the hair on his head? The Bible says Jesus has hair like that. Jesus has hair like you. This is not Jesus. This ain't Jesus. This is the devil when you read the Bible. The Bible says that Jesus looked like that. Give me that in Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Let's prove it to little bro real quick. Read. This is the book of Revelations. Start at verse, start at verse 1. And I, I'm, I appreciate you for stopping, sis. What's your name? Who? Felicity? Okay, so check it out. Because the thing about our people, we like to follow everything except what belongs to us. This Bible belongs to us. The only true God of, of heaven and earth belongs to us. Our God ain't no rock in Mecca. Our God ain't no Islam, Muslim, none of that. It ain't no fat China man with a big stomach. Those gods are idols. The cobblestone is an idol. We ain't no Arabs. We shouldn't be following no Islam, no Quran, no none of that, because it ain't of our people. But our people kill each other about that thing, and it don't belong to neither one of us. Arabs are killing our people in the Middle East right now. Real Arabs, are they supposed to eat pork and smoke cigarettes? So why do they sell it to our people then? Bring it out! Because they don't love us, and they know we not of each other. We are God's chosen people, the Israelites. Read. Revelations chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So you about to get the revealing of Jesus Christ. What does the Bible say Jesus look like? A black man. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Jump to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Samas, check it out. The Bible is talking about Jesus Christ. It said his what? His head and his hair. So it says his head and his hairs. When you look at the head and his hair, the hair your mom got, the hair your little brother got, the hair you see us have, is white like what? It's white like wool. Jesus had the same hair, except it was white. But what else do it say about Jesus? Samaj, read. And his feet. And his feet. Samaj, your feet the same color as your arms, right? Right? Okay, watch this. Read that again. And his head and his hairs. Well, white like wool, as white as snow, 
and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And it said his eyes looked at the flame of fire. They were red because he drunk wine. It's not a sin to drink wine, but we ain't dealing with that right now. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So John turned around and he seen Jesus. He seen the real Jesus. Jesus was walking and he had on sandals like your mom. Right. You, can you see your mom's feet right now? So Jesus had on sandals too. So just like you look, John looked and what did he see? Read. And his feet like a fine bread. Like what? Fine bread. Jesus had skin color like it was brass. Brass is brown. Brass is the color of brown. Look at your arm right now. That's the skin color that the Bible says Jesus Christ had. Watch, read on. As if they burned in a furnace. But it said his skin was brown and it was dark skin like Virgil. The Bible says that Jesus looked like Virgil right here. He had dark skin like that and he had hair like your little brother right here. So guess what, Samaj? You look like Jesus. That's right. Say it. Say, I, I look like Jesus. I look like Jesus. Oh, praises, my brother. Look it right here. Samaj, check it out. This right here. This what the Bible say Jesus looked like. Like you. He had brown skin and he had woolly hair just like you and your little brother do. You look like Jesus. You understand me? And you're an Israelite. Sister, you got to get him to the school so he can learn this. You need to get to the school. Because the world wants us to believe that young men should be gangbangers. They raising us up to be little BDs and GDs, throwing up trays both ways. But the Bible says we're God's chosen people and we should be acting accordingly. You, you are a princess to the most high. We ain't black, colored, Negro, African, none of that. Our nationality and race is the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You know what Israel mean? It means princess or prince of God, the power. That's what your name means. We got a school on Division in Cosna right up the road. You need to be getting there ASAP and you need to get him there. Because the world going to teach him to be a gangbanger. All they teach our kids is to gangbang, play basketball, or rap about killing people. And they teach our young girls to be thoughts. That's what we idolize and want to be, video vixens. You agree with me, sis? Is that what they're raising our women and young men to be? And that's what we are here to do to make a change. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.